Hi everyone, it's Linda. And I know most of you are celebrating Thanksgiving Day today. And I, I'm not opposed to you celebrating Thanksgiving Day. I think you should do it every day. And I'm going to leave a prayer down below. And um, I actually, I want to thank Ed Des, Des Priest for sending me this prayer. Um, because there's one similar I say every morning, and it's a Cherokee prayer. Um, however, this one I thought was, I think I will be saying this one every every day for Thanksgiving. I don't think one day a year should be set, set aside for genocide, and it's an ongoing genocide. And I think that there is so much power in truth because the government or the old world order, people call it the new world order. If you look back in history, nothing has changed. It's divide and conquer. There's no new world order. It's the same world order. It's used religion, race, everything to conquer and divide and chaos and control and make their holy days or holidays mean something than what it really means. And what I mean is genocide. Most every holiday has a different meaning. And Thanksgiving is now coming to light for a lot of people. Um that it is. And Kevin Allen and Dooley and Dana, thank you for the kind messages I received from both of you um, today, I will say. Um, but I also, I don't want to focus on that because we've got to unite as humanity. Um, and every day you should be thankful. But we also have got to acknowledge the problems that are going on. And I'm going to talk about more of the lies and deceit problems such as all the distractions as as with uh, comets and stuff there's always been comets there always will be now they've put a device up you don't even know if it's true or not I mean there's if you can't see some things with your own eyes don't even fall for it because that's another division factor in this it really is I mean haven't you felt like you've been psyop so often I mean, they, there's so, so many false flags that have been done that will lay, later be some kind of holy day for them or holiday. Look up where holiday came from. It's a holy day. But it's not a holy day for any of us. It's for that old world order strategy. They give the peasants a day off. But it's usually some kind of ritualistic crap that went behind it. They are strange folks, to say the least. They have no empathy. And that's what's missing. Also, you, you must understand that the corporations are taking advantage of this because they need consumers on this day in the United States. So people went out and bought turkeys and all this stuff, which they probably couldn't afford. You should be thankful every day and spend as much time every day you can with your family and friends and unite with each other instead of taking one day out of the year. Which, ironic to me, there was a proclamation in 1994 made that November is, what, National American Indian Heritage Month or some kind of crap. And, and what day do they designate to the Native Americans or the indigenous people? Black Friday, tomorrow. That's our special day out of the month um, where you're supposed to honor us. Not today because we don't believe in this day. The day after this day. Um, which, that's another consumer day, Black Friday. It falls in with the, the corporations. I think next year maybe everybody ought to spend time, take the day off and get paid for it. Shh, take money from them and don't spend it. Spend time with your families or go help somebody. Do something productive on that day. Unite. <clears throat> that's what I think people should do. Um, but I'm going to leave the prayer below that you should say every single day. It's a beautiful prayer. Um, and I'm, and I'm also going to leave a couple more links because, um, this one, let me, let me go here and cause I'm going to acknowledge the people who sent me links today. And I always get such wonderful links from people. Um, Freedom Quest 108, Bravo, the one on the Somalia pirates. Do you guys know that we've been psyoped on that, that these pirates have a reason for doing what they're doing? And, and I urge you to watch this video because what affects people across the world affects us all. Um, we're focused on Fukushima, and, and I believe this, this article is from 2012. However, what's happened in Somalia is going to affect, affect us as bad as Fukushima. 
if not worse, if you look at some of this. Um, so you'll be wondering now to watch this because I would say those pirates are doing the right thing. They're trying to defend themselves for their lives. Um, now, and there's been genocide there too. Let's not forget. Um, also, um, our carpenter, friend from down the road, you sent me the one uh, on RT News. I will post it below. Um, I know a lot of people have trouble with RT News, and I usually don't watch them. And it's on um, Thanksgiving and the Indians. I would like to tell you what I was told by recent ancestors, because they are deceased, the people who raised me after my mother died, my aunt and uncle. My uncle used to tell me through oral history how, you know, what he was told of what the world was like before it was colonized, like a beehive, um, of how Indians instinctively knew, you know, when to go and trade at these beautiful places. They were mounds. They were up and down the Mississippi and stuff, and in and, and different parts in, the, in North America. People would know when to go get the fruits and trade. It wasn't like the savage culture you've been told. These people actually, they, they were pretty modernized. And actually people had been here before the Europeans got here. From what I understand, actually Norse people had came and traded uh, with the savages. So maybe that's why the Native Americans weren't so savage after all when they fed the, the first people who came here who were starving and robbing their graves and, and, and stealing from them. Um, they did feed them and tried to teach them how to plant and, and be eco-friendly, but that didn't work because those people had came from a place that was under tyranny and they thought they'd come here. The problem is they didn't understand what they were doing was tyranny again. And now we can all unite and try to set, get the balance right. That, that's all I'm asking. And, and maybe next year don't spend money on this holy day for government controlled media with their footballs and with their their fake stories in schools start learning the real knowledge look what's happening in Somalia with nuclear waste where it's being dumped and what's happening to those peoples right now what's happening to them they're dying did anybody know about anything about the Marshall Islands I've actually done a video about that before where we tested all, all our nuclear arsenals on the Marshall Islands indigenous peoples and the repercussions, it, it seems like they think that this old world order thinks that people who are, who are native to one place until they control everything is not worthy. But you're now native. You were born here. So you should be just as tribal as I am and want to save this place where you live. But that means stepping out beyond your little comfort zones and meeting people of different colors, of different beliefs different a lot of things and and putting diff some differences aside um, and stop their little th th use their games against them and and go beyond that and and the first thing I'd say set aside is religion everybody's gonna have to set set something the one thing we can all agree on this right now the earth is our home she's our mother we can all agree on that we can all believe there's a creator somewhere or you can believe in the Big Bang Theory or whatever you want to believe. I believe there's a creator. I don't necessarily believe some of the other stuff that's written in text. Because it was written in text by those ones who are still ruling us today. And boy, have they divided all worlds. And, and I hate that there's all these different religions fighting one another. There's no one better than the next. We are all the same. We all have the same body functions. Some of us are more holistic, some are high-tech. I like the more holistic, back down to earth, but I was raised that way. But we, I can set that aside, but I can't go really high-tech, i got to tell you. Um, I don't like the transhumanistic world of slavery. But I do love you all, and I wanted to send some shout-outs to some people who sent some awesome things today. We don't eat today, we fast. We fast for recent ancestors. We fast for people... Who have died within the last few days from this genocidal policy that's still in place against the indigenous peoples in North America. So we do not eat today because this is a blood holiday for that old world order. And um, you may want to, I know most of you look at love and light, but 
But what affects my brother affects me. And I don't care what color you are, brother or sister. Um, what's happening in Somalia affects me because we are all connected. So I say next year, take advantage of the free money you might get on Thanksgiving. You know, you get paid for that holy day. But why don't you do something more positive with it? Go a day without eating. Clean your body out fast. And maybe go buy a homeless guy something to eat. And get to know what he thinks and how his life is. Or homeless woman. Or take somebody some firewood. Or, or do something really positive with that. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I saw all your thankful videos. And I'm thankful every day for every one of you because I learn something every day. There's not anyone out there that I'm sub to or who's sub to me that I could say I would not love to sit in a circle with you because I believe we'd have a great, wonderful time. And I do. I love you all. And Kenny, would you like to say anything? I think you covered most of it. Okay. He did say peace. Love and treat to all of you guys, and, and I'm glad everyone did get a day off from the slavery of uh, this, this old world order. But um, I'm sending blessings to all of you, but we should do this every day, every single day, and I'm out.